Washington. The Minister for Railway is also the Member of Parliament for Hohe, the Honorable John Peter. I'm a, Honorable, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you, thank you. And good uh, evening to your listeners. As a representative of the people of Hohe, I'm sure you would have received loads of phone calls now about what happened. You've sifted through the information. What, what is What do you know so far? Well, I, I'm shocked by the events uh, unfolding. Um, understand this uh, uh, late afternoon, a gentleman was riding on a motorcycle, uh, and behind him, the police uh, made an attempt to uh, flash him to stop. Uh, it was not a barrier, so the police were chasing him. And what I've been told is that uh, the guy was unable to stop as the police were behind. So, um, they, they ran over the, the gentleman. It may be two accident. I don't know where, how that happened. The driver of the police vehicle would be the best to, uh, to say exactly what happened. And as the, um, the guy was knocked down by the vehicle, the police vehicle ran into a ditch, and they came out to uh, take the guy. They realized that he has a, an injury you know, at the head, and they have to rush him to hospital. Uh, Why they were uh, at the hospital, we understand that the police van uh, was set ablaze. Uh, the police came back, understand about four of them, and mobilized other additional uh, support from the police, uh, 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 the municipal head office, and begin to ransack the town. Uh, in the process, there were, you know, some form of uh, confusion between the town folks and the police, and they end up killing two people. I understand two people were shot dead. Uh, one other person being uh, sent to Tema, uh, sorry, uh, the Trafalgar Hospital. A number of the motorbikes, you also understand, about 20 of the motorbikes belonging to the youth were also set up based by the police. Uh, so uh, this is uh, what is happening currently. Uh, I did immediately put the IGP together with the Ramon chief of the area, Sogwegan Gambutu, uh, with the MC uh, Noble. And uh, we, we try to calm down uh, uh, the situation. But the guys are still understand, uh, still very angry. Um, I know the youth of the community. And one of them called me and said they understand uh, that the police are remobilizing to get back to uh, the community. And I'm just using this medium to appeal. If the police commander there is listening or whoever is listening, uh, should ask them to stop immediately because that will create you know, more tension and chaos if they dare to enter, to re-enter the community. That will not be fair. Because Tobega Gambutu is already in charge. Uh, the kind of training that IGP have given to the police, I expect that training to materialize in their uh, efforts and activities. Uh, if we are saying that, we are the best people to decide ourselves. So uh, I'm just pleading that they shouldn't dare to re-enter the community, but rather leave everything to Tobega Gambutu and other security agencies to make sure that calm returns to the community. Now, the information you've picked so far, has there been any information suggesting that the community members were also shooting? Not to, not, not to the best uh, of my knowledge. Uh, but I think uh, some people uh, were also saying that there were gunshots from other areas, whether it was by the community or by the police. Which that means that the, 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 the two who have died uh, most likely would be killed by the, the by the police gunshots. What I've been told, that one of the eyewitnesses told me that he was watching the commander and he shot the guy at the chest. And he said he's prepared to testify. And he saw the police shooting the guy uh, directly. He made mention of the operational commander. He said he shot the guy directly. This is what the gentleman told me. And he's prepared to testify that. Of course, the bullets are on the floor. They will be able to determine whether these uh, stray bullets or whatever it is are bullets from the local guns or whatever. If it is uh, from some of the guns that the police normally handle, I think the expert will be in the best position to determine. Even uh, the wounds that are sustained by these people prior to their death, they should be able to tell us the type of bullets that penetrate through the body. So I I'm not worried. Uh, I know the investigation will continue and we will be able to establish mm. the facts. You say investigation. One, one nature should the investigation take? Should it be an investigation by the police or there should be some independent uh, investigation? What do, you, what do you propose? Well, of course, in instances like this that the police themselves are involved, uh, if it 
I don't know how we can hand over the investigation to them. Um, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. But the experts will be able to tell us. Uh, Tobogan Gambu too is in charge. You know, uh, I'm very happy uh, the effort he has put into this so far. Uh, so I'm meeting him maybe late this evening. Uh, I'll be able to ascertain from him uh, what exactly uh, he thinks should be done. But obviously, if the police have been accused of, uh, you know, uh, undertaking this uh, action, I don't see how they can come out with a fair, you know, and uh, fair and free uh, result uh, from their investigation. I don't think that 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 that, that will not happen. So we we will see how it ended peacefully. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us.